please subscribe and like this video. Thank you. Uh, would you mind introducing yourself to our viewers, please? Sure. Um, my name is Stuart Morrison. I am South African, so I live in South Africa. And I am a member of the UCCSA, which is the United Congregational Church of Southern Africa. Um, I live in Johannesburg, which is one of the, the big cities in South Africa. And I am a student. I'm studying politics and international relations at um, the University, University of Witzbatersrand, which is also here in Johannesburg. Oh, so you are li uh, living in a capital city, yeah? Yeah, yeah, one okay. of the capital. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Brother Stuart. Uh, I want to ask you several questions. Uh, yeah. First question is, uh, right now, what is the condition in your country uh, according uh, COVID-19 condition today? Um, so it's the COVID situation in South Africa has been quite um, serious. Yeah. Um, we have, as of today, um, we have just over 20,000 confirmed positive cases oh. of coronavirus. Yeah. Um, and we have 397 deaths. Um, so it, it is quite, quite a serious thing. Um, the country is in lockdown. So that means that the government has restricted movement and has encouraged people to stay at home. Yeah. Um, and so we can only go to the shops and then we must come back inside. The oh. uh, schools have been closed. Um, so my university is also closed. Um, so yeah, so the government has, has set up um, five levels oh, five of, levels. of the situation. Oh. And we're currently in level four oh. um, of, of the lockdown. So okay. that means that there's a little bit of movement. Some people can go to work, but the majority of people must work from home. Schools are still closed. Well, how about the church? Churches? Um, churches are also closed. Um, mm. They are not allowed to open. There has been a call by some church members to reopen the churches. Um, mm. But for now, the, the, the churches are closed. Yeah. And so church is, is happening virtually. So uh, oh, you know, um, okay. Yeah, ministers and, and congregations are, are meeting via um, platforms like Zoom and, you know, Microsoft Teams and things like that. And then also Facebook Lives and things like that. Uh, okay. So, hmm. okay, in that uh, situation, must be something makes you scary, isn't yeah. it? Uh, do you have any uh, feeling afraid, feeling scary in this situation? Um, I think there, there, is, there is a bit of fear and I think that that fear sort of comes from the sense of uncertainty, oh, okay. Um, uncertainty. Okay. of the situation yeah because okay. you know we, we don't really know what's going to happen in the next week in the next month mm -hmm. so you know every day is, is, is um, you know you take it one day at a time and so I think there's a, there's a bit of, se of fear that comes from that uncertainty oh, okay um, okay and uh, in that situation do you have any uh, spiritual experience brother um i think you know the covid 19 and everything in lockdown um i think one one of the key things is that it's it's sort of given us this the ability to to reflect oh, um, a lot of reflect and personally i've, I've done a lot of, of personal re reflection spiritual oh, reflection okay um and i think i think you know, a lot of the times when we're living our busy lives, we actually forget that reflection is, is such a crucial, crucial part of the Christian spiritual experience. Oh, I um, see. And so I think, yeah, I've done a lot of um, reflecting. But I also think that um, it's been quite a challenge um, for a lot of Christians, especially, um, you know, in South Africa and across Africa, I think, as a whole, because um, we put a lot of emphasis on community. Oh, okay. in the church okay and i think you know this this pandemic has really pushed us to try and think outside the box as to what we consider um you know to 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 be part of that community and and how we can um continue to to worship and and have a, a spiritual experience as a community without 
physically meeting there at like a church or something like that. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, so many. Uh, uh, the main core is uh, you have a reflection time for mm. your spiritual. It is a very yeah. good, very good yeah. indeed. Okay, uh, uh, brother, do you think in this situation, in this pandemic situation, mm. God have uh, his message want to share to human being like us? Do you think? Um, I think I think that, that that's quite a, a tricky question. Um, oh, well. But I think that um, you know it, it, it sort of um, speaks to this whole idea of um, you know um, was it God's plan to to sort of have this pandemic? But I think you know those type of questions are not necessarily shouldn't be the focus. But I think oh, in geez. terms of of God having um, sort of a message, I think as we we reflect on the pandemic um, mm-hmm. and even afterwards, I think we as Christians should, you know, apply our our spiritual and our, our theological lenses to the oh. situation and see um, how is God using the situation to speak to us. Okay. Um, okay. And so I think, you know, we can, we can turn the, the situation into a situation of hope and to share a message of hope. Okay, okay. So, uh, do you think If uh, you, you think, uh, uh, you said before that uh, my question, the third question, just like a tricky question. Okay, mm. I want to make uh, some uh, change the, about the question. Yeah. Uh, I'm not saying that uh, God uh, planning to, uh, mm. to this world uh, for, for the coronavirus. No, mm. Mm. I didn't believe it. But... Uh, Where where is God? Where is God mm-hmm. when this situation? Ah, that is uh, my question for you. Where is well, God? Um, where is God? Um, yeah. I think that um, you know, God God is 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 present with us. Oh, really? um, you know, I think that that God hasn't hasn't abandoned us. Okay. Um, and you know, in 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 the in the scriptures, God God speaks about being with um, people during hard the hardships. Um, God being with the with the with the um, Israelites as they leaving you know Egypt, okay. and um, you know throughout the Bible, God always speaks about being with those who who are poor and those who who you know are are in difficult situations. So I think that God is there with us, and I think um, we we should you know have a um, have a bit of um, you know. Happiness, I think, um, to to or, or not happiness, but but feel have a peace of mind. That's a big uh, one. Have a peace uh, of mind towards you know the fact that that God is is there with us, and okay. um, it's good to remind ourselves that God is there. Okay. So, do you still believe that God is Emmanuel? Yes. God is Emmanuel. <laughs> God be okay. with us. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Stuart. Do you have any message to uh, my Christian uh, Indonesian fellow in my country and also in Taiwan? I do. Um, uh, please. So I just <laughs> so I, I I'm keeping um, my Indonesian brothers and sisters and in Taiwan as well. I'm okay. keeping you all in my prayers and um, I pray that you know during this uncertain and scary time that we may find some peace. Oh. And um, in the fact that that God is present, God is with us, and um, I'm, I'm sort of in, inspired by um, a scripture from okay. from Romans 15, 15 verse 13, yeah. 13. Um, which says, "May may the God of hope fill oh. you with all joy and peace as oh. you trust in Him, oh, okay. so that you may overflow with hope by the okay. power of the Holy Spirit." Oh, okay, so. Uh, you want to say to all of us uh, Indonesian people here in Taiwan and Indonesia that we should still have hope for God. Mm. Yeah. So because God is Emmanuel. Yes. Until yeah. right now. Ah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> thank you very much, uh, Stuart. No, thank you for having and, me. Yeah. And maybe next time we will make some interview if you don't mind. 
in, oh, a, definitely. Uh, definitely. in another situation, in another issues. Thanks so much. Okay, bye-bye. bye.